The Navy's biggest trade show just outside of Washington, D.C. is underway. But don't expect to hear about the Navy's key shipbuilding programs. Officials have been told not to give progress updates on critical projects after a damning report on the state of submarine and aircraft carrier production. The analysis shows some projects are as much as three years behind schedule. Navy officials blame frequent design changes, workforce shortages, and the fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic for slowing production. The Navy says recent limitations on defense spending have also hurt major projects. The Pentagon spent billions of dollars modernizing shipyards, but $3.4 billion for the submarine industrial base remains stalled in Congress. Funding for new ships is also limited by last year's deal to raise the debt limit. Some in Congress are working to solve some of those issues. Senator Tim Kaine, who chairs the Senate Armed Services Sea Power Subcommittee, said the review exposes significant workforce shortfalls. He said he's using upcoming defense legislation to expand job training programs for shipbuilders. The report comes as China's Navy has grown beyond the size of the United States. And the Navy says it must counter Beijing's expansion. Some significant projects facing production setbacks include two classes of nuclear-powered submarines, the third Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier Enterprise, the first Constellation class frigate, and modernized versions of the Workhorse Virginia class submarine. Funding problems have also led to one attack submarine being scrapped. The Navy says it needs to pour billions into modernizing and upgrading shipyards and said it's looking into the issues to develop plans of actions. Representative Rob Whitman of Virginia said, the delays we see today across these programs will have real ramifications for our national defense as we seek to deter adversaries like China, Russia, and Iran. Whitman also said decades of underinvestment have also played a role in slowed production.